All right, I want to straighten out something about this security pin number of your Holly. Try to get this uh, confusion a little bit uh, more understandable here. <laughs> no matter how hard you try to get your pin number off this bike, your bike, my bike, any bike, it ain't going to happen. You can't just punch a bunch of numbers, flip a on and off ignition switch, this, that, the other thing. You can't do it. You're not going to get the pin number off this bike, no matter what. The only way you're going to get this pin number is either to buy the equipment that reads the pin number, which mostly just Holly Davidson has, and uh, it's not cheap, and you're probably going to use it once or twice in your whole life and spend way over $100 for it, or you're just going to take it to the dealer, or if you know somebody that well enough that will just read it for you, a uh, repair shop or something, other than that, you're going to take it to the dealer, and yeah, the dealer's probably going to charge you for that number. But then you'll have it. You'll have your number. If you think about it, it wouldn't make sense to be able to get a number off the bike anytime you wanted to. Think of it this way. Let's say you're, uh, hit, you're sitting at Pizza Hut and you're inside there having a pizza, and then I come along, I like your bike, I like the way it looks, so I just sneak over to it and uh, push a few buttons and I got your security number, I got your PIN number. So then what do I do? Then I feed it back into the bike and uh, either change it to a number I like or I just, I just bypass your system with that number because you can do that. Once you have your number, once you have the number to this bike or your bike or any bike, you can feed it back into the bike and bypass the system and start the bike and go. That's without a fog, a key or anything uh, once you know that number. That's why the number is not easy to get. That's why when Howie Davidson sells the bike, when the dealership sells the bike, they ask you, what do you want for a PIN number? And you tell them and they program it into your bike. And then after that, that's the number. You should write it down. It should be in your manual. You should remember it somewhere. And uh, if you ever needed to start your bike without the fob, because you might have lost it, battery might be dead, somebody might have stole it, it could be broken, um, a million things, you would still be able to start your bike as long as you knew the number. That can be done. But getting the number off the bike itself, you doing it by yourself without equipment, not going to happen. So I'm hoping this uh, clears up some of the uh, confusion that's been going on because uh, I was led to believe that I could get my number off this bike. I was shown a way of getting a number, but it turns out it was a part number, not a pin number. And uh, I've sort of been enlightened since to know now that uh, you can't get the number off the bike. I don't know what the number of this bike is. Um, I'm either going to have to go to Holly or buy the pin security number reader. Uh, I have a friend that owns a shop, a Howie shop, and I'm going to ask him to give me my number. Once I've done that, then I'll be able to start the bike without a key or a fog tool. So, I hope that clears it up a little bit. If not, leave me a comment, ask me a question, and I'll see what I can do to uh, answer it. You know, I don't know everything, that's for sure. So. Uh, Take it from there, man.